Hi, I'm Ray Gelato and welcome to another episode of Cooking with Ray. I'm a musician, saxophone player, tenor sax, singer and band leader and I've been very fortunate to work all over the world um, and I love to travel and that's where I got my love of food from. And one country uh, where I really love the cuisine is Greece. Now Greek cuisine isn't particularly fashionable now, you don't hear about it too much, but it's really wonderful if you, you have the right dishes and know where to go. And we've got a wonderful promoter in Greece, a guy called John Angelatis, and every time we're out there, John will take us to this unusual little back alley restaurant, so we'll have the most unbelievable sublime food. And one thing we did try in Greece, which I uh, knocked me out, was calamari, fresh calamari in wine. Braised very, very slowly in wine with some cumin and a little bit of cinnamon and uh, various things, of garlic and onions, and it's absolutely marvellous. And to go with that, we're going to have an authentic Greek salad we're going to do, which is the simplest thing you can make. Very, very easy. And a wonderful dip as well called kapiti, which is a spicy feta cheese dip with fresh green chilies. So, uh, once again, welcome to Cooking with Ray and uh, enjoy. Lowly taste for maggio. Well, calamari is a, a funny fish. It, it, it's known in um, some culinary circles as the, I read once, the, the garbage fish, because it's a bit of a bottom feeder. But it's a real unusual animal, and uh, it's, a, it's a funny name, calamari. In fact, I know Louis Prima used it in a song and used to shout, calamari! And I use it as well in a song called, that I rock called The Pizza You, where we say, calamari, calamari's not my style, sailing queenie, I'll run a mile. So everybody laughs when they see calamari, but it, 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 it's, it's, it's really a wonderful fish to use. And we've got some fresh calamari here from my fishmonger, and you can clean it yourself, but I get him to do it, so I'm lazy. So he's cleaned it all up. We've kept these bits, which are the nice tentacle bits, look. Nice, gruesome little tentacles, but they, they uh, taste lovely. Don't look too, too clever, but they're great. And here's the bodies. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna basically just leave the tentacles the way they are, and just cut the body for this calamari in wine, just into rings, just like this. And here we are, here's our calamari. But what we'll have um, as well, uh, we, we spice it up, we use um, a bit of a Portuguese influence. We use some nice fresh cumin powder, ground, so a couple of little bay leaves, some saffron, some sa and some uh, cinnamon powder as well. Cinnamon gives it a nice, a sweetish flavour. Chopped onion, finely chopped onion, four cloves of garlic, finely chopped. Um, our passata or tinned tomatoes, always use good tomatoes. I say this all the time, but don't use the rubbish ones, it will taste acidic and nasty. So use this. In this we're going to put a bit of puree in, tomato puree, just to uh, thicken it up. Some uh, black pepper, some salt. Some good quality extra virgin olive oil, and most importantly, of course, because we'll be slugging that along the way and enjoying ourselves while we make this. It's some wine. Here we've got some bog standard, many red wine. You can use white wine as well. Today I'm going to use red because I think it just gives it a bit of a richer flavour. And uh, that's it for our calamari wine. Right, first, what we need to do is just heat up some olive oil. Nice, just a medium heat on your pan. Nice slug of olive oil. Cover the bottom of the pan with it. Nice extra virgin. There you are. We'll just heat a couple of minutes. Now our olive oil's hot, what we'll do is we'll add our finely chopped onion and our garlic. We'll that in the pan. And we'll just saute this onion for about five minutes. And the garlic as well. Right in the olive oil. Next what we're going to do we're going to put some of this cumin powder in, but instead of putting it in once the tomatoes are in and, and all that sort of thing, we'll put the cumin in now. I like to fry it in the onions and in the pan just to release the flavour from it. So we'll just fry that for about a minute. So we'll just work it in our cumin powder now. We'll stir that around, see? What that will do, that will infuse the flavour of the cumin right into the dish. Right. You can smell our cumin now. What we're going to do now, we're going to get a nice slug of wine, okay? We're going to whack that in our mixture. There you are. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn the heat up. Turn the heat up a little. Yeah, so we just got our first uh, slug of wine in now. I mean, I'm not going to tell you exactly the measurements, but put a nice slug in so it covers the bottom of the pan and the onions. And let that, turn the heat up and let that wine reduce so sort of the harsh flavours are evaporated and you get the sweetness out of it. 
As we can see that wine is reducing now, you see, in the pan. We'll let it reduce a little bit more. Yeah, you've got this lovely sort of winey, oniony, garlic, uh, cumin flavour here. It's, you can see the wine's thickening. So once that evaporates a little more, then we're going to put the squid in. Or the calamari. Okay, well, we're ready to put our, our calamari in now. And we're going to sort of uh, put it in the pan now. And let it change colour. In about a minute or two, that'll change colour. And it'll almost be cooked. It cooks very quickly. But the secret is of this, we have to braise it for a long time, at least an hour, and check it after an hour. We'll, uh, we'll stir that calamari around. Yeah, uh, as you can see, after about two minutes, your, your calamari starts to change colour and it starts to look like it's getting cooked. So what we'll do now, we'll add, because this is a boozy dish, We'll add a further slug of red wine. There you are. Nice slug of red wine. And we're going to turn the heat up again. And just evaporate that wine in the calamari. That'll take about five minutes on a pretty high heat for that, that wine to reduce a little bit, which is what you need. And the, 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 the calamari is looking nice and, uh, and fresh in there and cooked. So, what we'll do now, we'll just add our tomatoes. We'll add our tomatoes or, or our passata. We'll put those in there. We'll add just to make it, you know, a little bit more flavour and everything. We'll just add a, a nice, nice dog there of tomato puree as well. The bigger your figure, the more you got class. Don't mess about with that hourglass. Right, while this is cooking, we'll get it bubbling for about 10 minutes. What we'll do is we'll add our bay leaves. A couple of bay leaves here. Here you are. And we'll add our cinnamon powder as well. About half a teaspoon of cinnamon powder and our, our saffron. Stir that through. You can keep adding, if it's drying a little bit, just keep adding a little bit more wine. Just a little bit more wine at a time, give it that nice wine flavour. As you can see, the sauce is really thickening up now. And it looks as smells like it. What we're going to do now, we're going to put our lid on. We're going to pop that on the simmer, just a low simmer. And we're going to slow simmer that for about an hour and a half until that calamari's got all that beautiful wine and the sauce infused right inside it. And it's going to be as tender as anything. We're not going to do tarama salato or hummus or that sort of thing. We're going to do something a little bit unusual. We're going to do kapiti, which is a spicy feta cheese dip. All you need is some green chilies chopped up, fresh green chilies. A little bit of Greek yogurt and about half a block, you get the feta cheese in blocks, about half a block of feta cheese and plenty of olive oil. If you haven't got one of these, which incidentally I'm advertising, this is the best thing I've ever bought, it's incredible. Uh, you could just use a regular blender or you can do the whole thing just by a fork. Just put it in a, in a bowl and you can get it by a fork, as long as you chop the chilies up very, very fine. And believe me, this is so easy, it's unbelievable, it's the easiest thing. Now this is probably going to be extremely hot, so you can use as many chilies, you could use one green chilli, or you can use two or three. The problem with chilies are, you don't know how hot they are until you eat them, so it's a lottery. But anyway, it's a nice lottery. So let's bung our chilies in here, and then we'll put our Greek yoghurt, again, about, I would do about two tablespoons full of Greek yoghurt. Then our olive oil. Watch, just plenty of olive oil in there. That'll give it a lovely flavour. We can always add a bit more red chilli. If you can't get chilies, and I've done this, you can either use uh, uh, the flaked red chilies or just some chilli powder. Put some chilli powder in and it'll still be nice. So you don't even have to use fresh chilli. Right, and we'll just whisk this up. Uh, Capiti dip. <laughs> on for about 35 minutes now and um, it's unbelievably rich the sauce is so thick and rich it's beautiful the squid. I haven't tested the squid yet but I'll do that after about an hour but what I'm going to do is just to save it getting dry 
I will whack on our favourite ingredient. Now, what is our favourite ingredient? Wine. See? Right. Put a nice slab of wine in there. Just stir it in. And I'll keep that lovely flavour coming. There you go. And it will stop it drying out. While we're waiting for our, our calamari to cook, um, we can prepare a green salad. Again, like the kapiti, it's the simplest thing you can make. Really, really easy. And our ingredients, just some nice plum tomatoes or vine tomatoes, some black olives, um, cucumber, about half a cucumber, an onion, got to slice that very, very thin for the Greek salad, and our feta cheese, a half block of feta, um, some salt and black pepper, some nice good quality olive oil, and uh, some wine vinegar. And uh, that's it, we'll chop it up, show you how to do it. A good method, what I like to do is, first, instead of dressing it afterwards, I like to get the dressing in the bottom of the um, salad bowl. So put a nice, good slug of olive oil there. A little bit of your wine vinegar, just about, I don't know, teaspoonful or something like that. Plenty of black pepper. It's a good little method, actually. And it, it makes the salad taste great. Plenty of black pepper, a nice bit of salt. And then you just, you just whip that up, see, like that. It's nice, look. Just, just uh, uh, whisked up here. We're just going to put the salad ingredients in. You can also, well, incidentally, use a green pepper in this. Uh, just chop up a green pepper quite finely. I, I, I didn't do that today, but you can do it if you want. But also, if you don't care about authenticity, put a bit of parsley in it as well, chopped parsley. Um, again, this is just quite a basic Greek salad with the onions. And then, get the lot of it and just make sure, separate that onion, make sure that it's all mixed in with that lovely peppery uh, uh, olive oil, wine vinegar here. Okay, that's all mixed in now. What I'm gonna do is just put a tad more salt on that. I quite like salt on salads, but I like do that in Naples quite a lot and it really brings the, the flavour. A little bit of black pepper on the salad like that and then you can crumble the feta on it. Uh, that's t I think that's a bit more Lebanese or uh, Moroccan kind of thing. But what I'll do is I'll just slice it, a little bit of slices like this, just like they do in Greece. I like the kind of little cubes of the, the feta cheese. Like I say, I, I, most of the time I've had this in Greece and they just put the whole slab on there. So you just put the slice of feta and just put it on there like that. There you are. And then what we'll do is we'll just get some dried oregano and this gives it that lovely Greek flavour as well. And just sprinkle a little bit of dried oregano just over the feta cheese like that. Then finally, a bit more olive oil over the feta. And over the salad. There we go. Got our Greek salad. How about that? Right, just before we take our calamari out, we're going to test it and see. It looks to me the absolutely tender of anything. Now here it is, and it's got the most beautiful colour. It's infused with all the lovely red wine sauce and the cumin and the cinnamon. If you feel like you can serve it with rice if you want. I've got my glass of wine, so I'm going to say uh, yamos, I think we say. I'm not Greek, but yamos, I think it's cheers in Greek. Uh, cheers, everybody. Go on. Oh, that's nice. And uh, here we go. Taste test with. Fantastic. There you go. Absolutely marvellous. Calamari and wine, capiti, Greek salad. What could be simpler? I've had a pizza, little bed, it's plain to see.